All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. And so I'm going to ask you to come, hopefully as enthusiastically as Junia, and join me up here in the front for our sermon in the box. Every week, every week someone puts something in a box, and I try to figure out some way that it teaches us something about God or His Word. And Elizabeth has our box today, and so we're going to see what's here. And we're going to see what we can learn. And it's apparently something funny. So, oh my goodness. I love it. It's a turtle. It's a sea turtle. Now, last week we had a spider. And I said, I don't think there are in the, any spiders in the Bible. And uh, some of the uh, Bible geeks in our congregation corrected me. And there are actually three mentions of, this, of a spider in the Bible. But I'm not sure if there are any turtles in the Bible. <laughs> so I need, I need my Googlers to look that up. But I don't think there are any turtles, any sea turtles in the Bible. But one of the things I like about turtles is that they can live in two places. They're a unique animal, and there are a few different animals like this, but they can live on land, and they can live in water. And most turtles do both, right? They spend some time on land and sometimes on water. And it kind of reminds me of the Christian life because we live between two different things. We live in a world that we can see and that we can touch, but then we also know that we live in God's reality. That, that's not always, it's invisible to us sometimes. Sometimes we can't see what God is doing. Sometimes we can't see the, the things that, the, the obvious ways that God is at work, but we have to trust that even in the things we can't see, God is also at work in ways that we can't see, and that sometimes his kingdom, and his kingdom is what he wants. Sometimes what he wants to happen, it is coming in ways that are invisible to us. And so we have to trust what his word says about what he is doing, and we have to live between two different worlds. A world that's passing away, and then a new world that Jesus is bringing that will never, ever pass away. And so that's what turtles remind me of. So that was a great sermon in the box, Elizabeth. And Junia, with your enthusiasm this morning, I have to send the box home with you. So we'll send the box home with Junia. Thank you for all for joining me for the sermon in the box. You can return and sit with your parents. Parents, just a reminder that there is a nursery available uh, to you during the sermon. Uh, we also have our cafe.